Hey, fellow Trump supporters, you know, they say the first step to recovery is admitting you were wrong, right? Well, I think that's what we're going to have to do is admit that we were wrong. Um, now, I know it's hard, especially among, you know, friends and stuff like that to say, hey, man, you know, maybe we've been wrong about all this this whole time. But as Democrats are right, maybe Trump ain't interested in doing nothing but making himself a dictator uh, just to save his own skin, you know, um, because that appears uh what he's doing, he went out there in front of uh, uh, all those Christian nationalists and said, if you vote for me, you'll never have to worry about voting again because I'm going to fix it so you don't have to. So he's telling them, I'm going to make myself a dictator and hand this uh, constitutional republic over to uh, Christian fascist dictatorships. Um, so he's openly saying it now. So we have to admit we were wrong, y'all. I know it's hard because we don't want to be thrown out of our friend circles and stuff like that, ostracized, pushed aside, made fun of. You know, uh, we know how we are towards other people that don't think just like us and don't follow the flock of sheep just like we do. But I, it's going to be tough to do that. Um, and look, uh, for all you MAGA mommies out there that's got Trump supporting husbands and stuff, look, you don't have to vote the way he tells you to. When you go into that polling station, you can fill that ballot out any way you want to, okay? And if you're interested in saving your rights and your daughter's rights and stuff like that, you know how to vote. And it definitely ain't Republican because there ain't no Republican Party anymore. It's a Christo, Christo fascist party. See, and, and Trump and, and all the other Republicans, they're now just bowing to Christian fascists because... Um, they need their vote in order to maintain power is all it's about now. And I know that, you know, the way we thought about it and everything is that, you know, Trump made America great again, stuff that like we know that he didn't do that. Cause we know that, that what happened was that Obama made America better. And then we gave Trump credit for it. We know that that's what happened. Um, because we're being dishonest with ourselves. It's time that we start being honest with ourselves because we know what we did even during the Obama years when all the stuff we said, he's going to turn us into a communist Muslim country and stuff. None of that ever happened. He just made America better is all he did. And we're saying the same crap right now. Now we're talking about we're going to do civil war and stuff like that over it, all over Trump. Think about that. And we know it's all lying. We're just lying to each other and lying to ourselves about it. the country's just fine. It's going to be just fine. So anyway, when you go into that polling station, you go in there and vote blue, you know, to save, save our country from ourselves. Um, you don't have to tell your friends and stuff. If you're afraid you're going to be ostracized, stuff. don't even tell them, you know, some people just can't be saved. So anyway, let's save America. Let's vote with the Democrats and, um, you know, preserve our democracy and our constitutional Republic. And, um, let, uh, let Donald Trump go where Donald Trump's going to wind up going. All right. Inmate Trump 2024.